All right, today is July 13th, Friday 13th, 2018. Oh, really? Yes, really. Yeah. This, this is a special meeting of the members of the State Liquor Authority. President in Albany is Chairman Bradley and Deputy Commissioner of Licensing Held in New York, Commissioner Fan and Deputy uh, General Counsel Riano. We have one item on the calendar. It's a request from Council's Office for a summary order of suspension with respect to Duchess CL2005098, the Exempt Fireman's Association. It's uh, agenda number 2018-01453B. I believe, uh, Councilor Riano, you're presenting for Council's yes. Office? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Tom. Um, very, very quickly, um, on behalf of Council's Office, we're here today to request an emergency summary order of suspension. Um, against a license that was issued actually in 1933. It is the first club license ever issued in Dutchess County. Um, this began as an investigation that has been going on for, I would say, approximately seven months after a homicide occurred at the location on January 27th where approximately uh, 15, 50 patrons exit, exited the establishment once somebody was shot and killed, I believe, uh, on a sidewalk near the establishment. Um, many of these patrons were extremely intoxicated and they refused to comply with police orders, which created a pretty unruly crowd. Uh, and at that point, we began to partner pretty closely with the Dutchess County Sheriff's Department, as well as the Poughkeepsie Police Department. Um, we had a meeting following this on, in March uh, with the ABC officer of the club um, to begin to gather additional information on this particular place. Uh, and recently conducted another investigation uh, on June 29th uh, where the ABC officer became very agitated with our investigators and other individuals at the, uh, who were there from the police at the establishment. And in the interim, there has been a significant investigation by the uh, task force uh, in Dutchess County, the drug task force, where for over a two-month period, um, a confidential informant who is not a member of the club has been able to purchase illicit substances, play uh, in illegal gambling games, um, purchase illicit liquor for off-premise consumption, um, as well as engage in, in additional transactions that would violate our laws. Um, I actually just checked this morning, um, and some of uh, the gambling activity looks to be even on the front page of the website of this particular establishment. Um, so at this point, considering the multitude of incidents that we have, the fact that a CI has been able to purchase illicit substances, uh, participate in illegal gambling, um, and per uh, purchase illicit liquor for off-premise consumption, in conjunction with the homicide, in conjunction with our investigation, um, at this point, this place seems to be uh, a place that requires emergency action and because I'm concerned about the health, safety, and welfare of patrons, I believe there's close to 2,000 members at this establishment um, and their guests, et cetera. 2, I believe so. Um, I believe that's, that's what I understand. Um, social members, right? Yeah, social members, yes, yes. Um, based on all of that, at this point, I'm quite concerned that there could be another violent incident on top of any of the issues that I have with the illicit narcotics gambling and or liquor. And with that, Council's office would request an emergency summary order of suspension. Is it, um, was the victim that was shot, do we know, was that someone that was in the club? Is that a member? Uh, that's a or very good. He or she a member, I should say, not it. That's, that's a good question, Chairman. I actually do not know myself, but it's certainly something that I can find out. And was, and we, do we know whether that person was in the club before they were shot? Um, that's a very good question as well. I actually don't know that either, but it is something that I can certainly find out. Okay. And then what, when you mentioned drug sales, what, what types of drugs are we talking about? My understanding from the report that we've received uh, from the Poughkeepsie PD um, it includes uh, crack cocaine. It includes uh, hydrocodone, so um, opiates, um, and it also includes, I believe, marijuana. And I see in here that they also seem to be selling al uh, hard alcohol for off-premise consumption? Correct. My understanding is that, um, th that they've been selling, uh, I believe, Hennessy at a minimum, and that Hennessy was purchased um, by the confidential informant, and they were able to take that off-premise. And once again, this is not a member of the club? 
Uh, no, it is not a member of the club. Um, and I think one of the primary concerns that we have is that the club's ABC officer um, has either been not either just complicit but involved in a number of these transactions and or, you know, essentially negligent as it comes to these transactions um, and is the individual who was confrontational with our investigators on the investigation on June 9th or 29th, excuse me, um, which is, you know, rises to an even higher level of concern when he is the individual who is supposed to be uh, the primary caretaker of the ABC law at this club. And did I read in one of the police reports that this individual is also a city councilman in the city of Poughkeepsie? It is my understanding that the ABC officer at this location is a city council member of the city of Poughkeepsie, and obviously that raises questions as to the fact that, you know, in that particular position, he should be somebody where there's a significant level of public trust, which makes it even more concerning from uh, our perspective that this individual seems to be, you know, quite involved in, in much of the activity that we see here. Okay. Commissioner, anything? No. Are you ready to vote? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to vote to summarily suspend. I think it's obvious that this place has become a, not only a tax on the police resources, but a danger to the public safety and welfare, not just because of the shooting, but it's obvious that it's a place where you can easily go in and buy narcotics. They're not following any of the club rules. Um, since the CI is clearly not a member and, and does not appear to have entered with a guest and has made multiple narcotics buys as well as marijuana and opioids, opiates, um, and not to mention uh, two bottles of Hennessy for off-premise consumption. So I think it's obvious that this is a, a risk to the safety, public safety and welfare of the community. So I'm going to vote to suspend. I'm going to vote to suspend as well. Um, facts are not encouraging. There's clearly a significant breach of public trust here. Um, it's a threat to public health, safety, and welfare members, guests, and also to the patrons. So, vote to suspend. And council, just for my edification, uh, my vote remains the same. But this is a firemen's exempt association. Do we believe this has anything to do with any fireman at this point in time? My understanding uh, is no. My understanding from the prosecutor who discussed this with me is that there's a significant portion of the membership here who maybe have nothing to do with volunteer firefighters. Um, and, I don't, and that I believe may even include the ABC officer. So this is primarily based on the actions that seem to surround the ABC officer. Um, and, and that's, to my knowledge, where this primarily comes from. So back in when this place opened, its primary purpose was for volunteer firemen, but right now that appears not to be the case. It seems to have possibly changed over time. That's okay. correct, Chairman. All right. Thank you. I don't have anything else, Chairman? No. All right. The meeting is concluded. Thank you.